So, I was thinking about what plush to review, and obviously, since you can't get information anywhere else but the internet, um, some of you might want to know more about some of the rare plushes I have, because obviously they're rare and you can't really, you know, get information anywhere else about them, unless you own one or you look something up about it on the internet. So, I'm going to review the Disco Zombie plush. So, as many of you may know, um, and probably do know, Disco Zombie is probably the rarest Plants vs. Zombies plush out there. If it's not the rarest out there, it's definitely one of the rarest. Um, those who have it, consider yourself to be completely spoiled, because, I mean, I've only seen this guy on eBay once, and it was the time I got it, and it was luckily because, if you want to know a little story about this guy, I bid till the end on that guy, um, I mean, I really wanted Disco Zombie, and I bid till the end, and I lost, which you're probably saying, wait, you lost? How do you have the Disco Zombie plush if you lost? Well, I lost, but afterward, the seller contacted me and said, um, the person who won the Disco Zombie backed out, so you can, if you claim it for this certain amount of money, um, you can claim the Disco Zombie and you can get it, and obviously I said yes, because I needed this Disco Zombie, and um, I, it's definitely one of my favorite plush, definitely one of my prized possessions, and anyway, we're getting off track like we normally do, let's get to the review. My two most favorite parts of Disco Zombie are his afro hair, which is really soft. Um, obviously, if you find this guy on eBay, depending on the condition it's in, I mean, this one is really soft, but you may find one on eBay if you find one on eBay. Um, you may find one that has, like, you know, dirty hair or, like, the hair isn't soft anymore. You could probably wash it, but obviously I'm not going to do that because it's this is a super rare plush. Um, the other favorite part that I like about Disco Zombie is his glasses, which can actually come off. Sometimes they get stuck in his hair, but it all works out because they come off. They're like a gold thing. It might be, it may be brass or I don't really know, but maybe it's just painted gold. Um, and then you put the glasses on him and they get like stuck in his hair. So if you purposely get them stuck in his hair, then they won't come out because then when you, you know, do stuff, I mean, they may fall down, but they don't come out because they're stuck in his hair. Anyways, let's take the glasses off for the facial details because obviously you won't be able to see the face if you have his glasses on and they're giving me trouble because it's stuck in his hair okay so there's his glasses which you can probably barely see those then we have his face which I've seen some youtubers who don't have the glasses either because they were irresponsible or because they bought one without the glasses. A disco zombie with or without the glasses is, I mean, with the glasses is rarer than without the glasses, but anyways, disco zombie is a rare plush. Let's just get this straight. Disco zombie is a rare plush no matter what condition it's in, no matter if it's missing all of its limbs, no matter if you just get, say, the torso of disco zombie. If you just get the torso, you're still getting a rare plush, even though you don't have the head or the arms or the legs, if you just get the torso, just that part, it's still considered rare. Obviously, who would want that? And who would do that? Like, who would chop up Disco Zombie just to sell it on eBay? I mean, you never know with these things, but anyways, back to his face. Um, like many zombies, they have the little wrinkles up here. And we have normal zombie eyes, and mouth, and nose. There's not really much unique to that. But down here is where it gets really unique. So we have his um, blue shirt, obviously. It's probably how you tell a real disco zombie from a fake disco zombie. I don't really think they made fakes of this, though. Well, they did, but 
you can clearly distinguish this one from, say, this one. Okay, so let me tell you in advance that I'm sorry, but this Disco Zombie is trash, it's poorly made, it's off-sized, it's just a terrible plush, I'm not going to lie. I'm never going to do a review on this thing, I'm never going to probably feature it in any videos, I don't even know why I still have it, I should probably just throw it in the garbage right now, but, huh, it feels good to get that out of me, but, Anyways, so you can clearly distinguish the features between the rare Disco Zombie and the piss and the piss poor made Disco Zombie. Ah, my gosh. Okay, so this Disco Zombie is off-sized, like I said. This Disco Zombie is this tall. This Disco Zombie is here. Let me do a better stance thing. So this and in look at his legs they aren't even like fully extended this disco zombie is so short so this i'm not even going to talk any more about this thing because it's not this guy's review it's that one so let me just tell you this um some people are fine having this disco zombie some people are perfectly fine having this one because they know they're never gonna get a chance at that one but you never know with with these things like they can sometimes just appear on ebay so th for the people who are fine having this i mean you should really look like just google disco zombie and compare this to the image you find online and you will see a clear difference now some people have this and think trash of it and want that one but uh they know that you know it's gonna be hard to get it which it is trust me i waited like five years to get that one because um back in 2012 i had all the opportunities to get disco zombie but i wanted you know more common plush because i i didn't know that it was gonna go out of stock that quickly but i got it in 2017 i got that disco zombie and i'm happy now but for the people out there who want that Disco Zombie, I can't give you any advice because it's like random when when he comes on eBay. But I will tell you this, if you're persistent and you keep checking, I mean, I at one point I was checking like every single day on eBay for a Disco Zombie for a month. But I'm not asking you to check that quickly, I'm just saying if you keep trying, you will eventually get there. If you keep persisting and you keep going, you will eventually find that Disco Zombie at some point in your life if you keep trying. I guarantee you, well I can't guarantee you, but I, I can guarantee you that you'll have a really good chance of finding a rare Disco Zombie. Anyways, back to the review, and you get out of here. So now that that piece of trash is out of our film studio, we can get back to the review. Where were we? Okay, I'm just gonna start at the torso. So, like I said before, the unique parts about this plush. He actually has a cool necklace, unlike the other one which had a very um, poorly made necklace. This one actually looks kind of like a shiny bling type ne necklace. Then we have um, his, I mean his shirt, like I said before, and his button, obviously. Then we have his legs, which or he actually has pants, which very few zombies actually have pants. Most zombies have shorts, but since he was made a while ago, he was, you know, I, I guess they, you know, wanted to make it game accurate, which I like. And obviously he has his tag, which just said, says Plants for Zombies. Now, people out there who wanted to make, you know, um, bootlegs and stuff of this plush, it was really easy to do. I mean, they had every opportunity to make a bootleg, and so far, there's just that one. Even though some people don't consider it a bootleg, I do, because it's so poorly made. But, I mean, look at the tag, it doesn't even have any official, you know, branding or anything, so... People could have easily made a bootleg of this plush, but really, not very many have emerged. I don't know why, but, I mean, that's, I guess that's that. So, thank you guys for watching this plush review. 
Um, this is a little bit different plush review because this one was more an informational one because, like I said before, a lot of people want to know information on this plush and, like, where to get it and, you know, how to get it and stuff like that. Um, I mean, again, consider yourself very, very spoiled if you have this plush. Um, but if you want to get the plush, I would suggest continue to, you know, check eBay, check any other site that you know that maybe this could come up on, and eventually there, there will be a really good chance that you'll find that plush. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, again, more of an informational plush review rather than a plush specific plush review because I'm sure many of you have seen this in either my videos or other people's videos or, you know, whatever. I'm sure you've seen this plush and you know what it looks like, but you don't really know information about it, which is why I did this plush review the way I did. But thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, leave a like. And in the comments, you can post, you know, any kind of question you have. I'll try to answer. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, shoot the stars and subscribe if you haven't. And, you know, be good, I guess. Um, keep checking eBay if you want this plush. And I'll see you later, guys. Goodbye.